What's up guys and welcome to House Flipper 2. That's right, baby. It kind of feels weird to say that. This is a game we've been going back to time and time again ever since that first episode back in 2018. And uh, the sequel is almost here. It's coming out later this year. We have a demo out right now that we're going to be checking out today. Going to be flipping our first house on this game. Going to be checking out all the improvements and updates. And uh, I'm very excited for this. So, hope you guys are too. Let's hop into it. I mean, we got hot dogs on the shelves and the, the coffee tables, so it, it's fair game for me. Hello, Flipper. You're about to play the House Flipper 2 demo. Follow the quest line to transform a rundown shack into a beautiful house. When you're done, you can keep playing and add some personal touches to it. Tip, look out for books placed around the house. It will tell you how to use your tools. And happy flipping. Oh my, oh, we're on an island? Dude, what? Oh, phone hey, call, let hey, me answer. Hey, hello. So, how do you like the house I found for you? Beautiful, isn't it? Exactly as I pictured it, ready to move. What's going on? Where am I? You said you want to try your hand at house flipping, right? So, I found you a house and organized transport. You're welcome, by the way. Now all that's left to do is the renovation itself. I hope you'll have fun making the house look amazing. All right, I guess it's time that's for us to get spirit. to work. I can't wait to see what you'll come up with. Take care. Appreciate it, Tom. Thanks for dropping me on a uh, a private island out here. Is this the, the Kame house from Dragon Ball Z? Kind of updated and, and very realistic looking. Dude, this is insane. So we're supposed to look out for these books here. Quests for beginners. Read this. Lost on what to do? No fear. Flipper senses here. Rooms with bright yellow. Have quests waiting for you. Try pressing R with every tool you use. Flipper sense will tell you which items to sell, which to paint, where to place windows, and all kinds of other things to do. Can pick up our drill here. Oh, look at the look at the grid. Look at the grid you can place things on. You can put things in exact locations and not have to, you know, guess where they should go. Dude, this, this is sick. We want to come in here. We want to look for, for these. These exclamation marks. The yellow exclamation marks are the, the play here. Surface finishes. Paint sticks to a wall on its own, but you can't say the same for panels, wallpaper, or tiles. Lay down some surface glue first. Hold the left mouse button to apply glue anywhere you want. Before we get into that, I feel like we need to clean all this stuff up. Oh, we, we walked right through it. We definitely, we want to clean this up. Flipper tool. With this tool, you can sell and modify items as for modes. Change the mode. Press Q. Selling items. Changing. Duplicating. Copying and pasting. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at all of our tools and things. I'm just going to run around. I'm going to try to pick up as much trash as we can. How do I pick this stuff up? Oh, okay. Use our flipper tool. The flipper tool has always been really, really good. Honestly, it kind of gets rid of the, the trash too. So I'm going to go through. We are going to do this. Everything looks so good. Can't get rid of the trash cans or the trash bags. We can get rid of everything else. But yeah, it just, it, it looks so clean. It looks so new. It looks so, so different. Gonna make sure we get rid of all of this trash here. Gonna start with a nice clean space to be able to work from. Every single one of these bricks. I can't get over the graphical improvements. Look at the water out there. Like that, that is highly, highly impressive. Look at the, the sun flares. Look at the palm tree. Like this... This looks good. I don't really know what to do with the trash. Can I put it in here? Ah, if you put the trash in the bin, it disappears. That makes sense. That's that's what you do with the trash, Trev. Kobe. Oh, we got it. Let's go. I want to make sure we're getting the, um, the, the growths off the front of the house as well. Really want some curb appeal. We're keeping the bushes, but any of these growths we're going to get rid of. We need to, to clean this up. I think we've got a, a cleaning tool. Ah, and we can, we can spray? Okay, oh, the spray is OP. Look at this, just one spray, boom, hold things down, let's go. Clean up the mess on the floor over here. Oh yeah, that, that spray is, is pretty good. Can't clean the windows yet. I think we're gonna have to go inside for that, but let's make our way around the outside. Let's make sure we're cleaning all this graffiti off. We're looking pretty good. Anything up top here, a little bit. Get that, I think it wants us to sell this. You can see all your objectives here. It's like, yeah, it wants us to sell this, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy. I don't know why I'm getting excited about being able to clean things, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like the little, little spray bottle here. Can't clean that. We're probably going to have to, uh, I think that was this up here. Let's see what we've got going on. So we want to, um, would have set this up for tiling and panels and stuff. Don't want to go over the line, set the area for your glue first, press right on the wall to set your starting point, move towards the end point and press right to set the area. Voila. Now you can apply glue by holding within the area. Glue ready. Buy some tiles, panels, wallpaper, yada, yada. Okay, so let's let's try this. We're going to go into surface finishes. It wants us to apply these, these cool wood square. Ah, I see what we're doing here. We're going to fix this. So let's 
Let's set up our area. I don't know if that piece needs it or not. So we could set up our area and then we can go in, we can purchase this. You can choose your cut pattern and everything. Oh, we need to apply our putty first, actually. And now, oh, what? So if we buy this, we can we can place this down here. Now, I did go out of the lines a little bit with our glue and our putty, but can I fix that if we go to, maybe if we go back to cleaning? Shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful. I think we might be able to fix this. Hold on, let me, so we're, we've, we've got this. I'm gonna buy this. Oh, we don't want to put that there. We're going to put that there. And then we need, we need like horizontal. Kind of like that, but not quite. We need to, to maybe not rotate it. I don't know how to fix it. I, I think we, we messed it up a little bit. But at least in this area, we got the 36 out of 36 squares. We're going to be careful not to go over the lines. I thought I set it up so that we couldn't. But I guess, I guess not. All right, let me, let me get this fully clean here. We're going to make sure we don't go out of the lines. I thought when we were setting, when we, when we did the setup finishing borders, I thought that would make it so we couldn't go out of the lines. Does it? Oh, now it does. I just must have done it. I think I might have canceled it on accident or something. We're just going to pretend like that didn't, didn't happen. It's my first day on the job as a contractor, man. Don't hold it against me. Set that up there. See, that's nice. Now you can't overdo it. You can't mess it up. And then we're going to be able to go in. We're going to grab this same cool wood here in the same pattern. I like the way you put this down. This is cool. So we could put it all through here. Like Tetris. Beautiful. Now this side of the house is done. Backside looks good so far. We're going to have this side, of course. So we're going to go in. If we go to our services and finishes, let's make sure we select the right area. And now I think what happened is I had it selected and then I think I accidentally canceled it because I wasn't wasn't sure what I was pressing. Get this set up. Beautiful. Now we got this piece over here. This is incredibly satisfying. Also, I missed another spot, but it's fine. That can be fixed. If we go in, it's going to be the same, the same way as everything else. So we're not going to notice a difference there. And the bottom part of our walls is now fixed. This part is really messing with me. I want to figure out how to fix this. So we need the wood. I think... We could put it diagonal. That looks a little bit better. It's a little harder to see. It's it's fine. We're just going to have to ignore that, Trev. We do have to sell this and clean this up, though. I think the cleaning, the cleaning might be my favorite part thus far. Inside the house we go. Oh, this, this is quite a mess. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Another book here. Vacuuming. Some trash is too small to pick up by hand. That's where the vacuum cleaner comes in. When you come across a pile of broken glass, tiny bits of brick, or anything else you can't put in a trash bag, choose the vacuuming tool. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go with our cell tool. We're going to run through with the cell tool first. So we could sell that as well. And then we're also going to hit the trash bag. We're going to hit the vacuum. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on in here, dude. Holy cow. Let me just get rid of, of everything that we can. This little clicking noise is satisfying to say the least. We're going to start with the big stuff. Make sure we get paid for it. Technically, I think we have unlimited funds for the demo, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Let's go upstairs too, maybe. Just selling everything okay there we, we are going to be starting totally fresh here huh tubs showers everything oh we've got fish up here okay let's get these off the wall we're gonna have to fix some of these walls there's a lot going on with the walls but if we just get things fixed up or sold out of the way we're gonna be able to actually see what's what's going on can't sell the light fixtures okay i mean this is a really cool house this is this is gonna be sick once we complete it come through with the trash bag as well not everything can be sold some trash you actually have to pick up getting all this oh my goodness dude this is so satisfying why is cleaning your own house not this fun can i see the trash can from up here kobe ah one more shot here come on a little bit more on it trev kobe Nope. Get the cleaning tool back out. How do we get these leaves up? Are we going to vacuum the, the leaves? Maybe, maybe? We haven't used the vacuum cleaner yet. Let's see. Oh, we can vacuum up leaves. Just what I've always wanted to do. Glass in here as well. Can get all this. Now, a lot of this stuff looks like it's going to be more of a mop job or a cleaning job, but we'll see. Love the physics of the little items and things being picked up cleaning tool out beautiful dude that spray is probably the most op thing i've ever seen dude this look at this just insta disintegration of any stain anywhere mr clean style it's the bounty quicker picker upper rag as well just never never gets wet and keep working for days i don't know why this is so dude i'm i'm loving this so much it's so familiar but they're i don't know they've, they've really 
really improved it at the same time. I'm sure eventually all the, the spraying is going to get a little annoying, but it's it's okay. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we sell everything we can in all these places. I just want a, a super clean, fresh start. Not going to sell those. We will sell the radiator. We need to clean the windows. I'm not sure how to clean windows. How do we clean these? Clean window? Ah, it's the old way. Look at that. Look at the view that we have from up here. Brand spanking new window there. Nice and shiny. Looking at the palm trees and the turquoise water. Look how gunky this place was, bro. Beach houses are really tough to take care of. Fun as they are, I've got a, a buddy who has one. He's constantly fighting the elements and animals and all kinds of things like that. But, uh, you know, be able to have a place like this, I think it'd all be worth it. Looking like a, a postcard out here. Love this. All right, one, one more window down here. And I think our upstairs is just about done. Let's make sure we sell this. And uh, with that, we've got to clean. I mean, we're going to have to fix and patch this. Before we get into construction, I just wanted to clean it up. We're looking, looking pretty good. All right. Downstairs is, is not, though. We've got a lot of work to do down here as well. Just disgusting. People bringing their slippers in, just leaving them on the ground. Come on, what are we? We're not animals. We could treat... Oh, my goodness. We could treat our stuff. Let's... Okay. I'm not even going to try cleaning this. We're just... We're, we're going to delete everything. Can't even open this this up to be able to get to the bathroom. I want to get in there, but we, we need to be able to fix this first. What is this... Go to got a washer in here. Okay, get all the trash up. Dude, the trash is so good. You can pick up so fast. I love it when there's a whole big pile and you just nail all of it. Come on now, don't don't fail me, Trev. Way overshot that. The squeegee has to be my favorite part, dude. That is the most satisfying when you're just making these nice even rows. Beautiful. How does the ceiling get this dirty? I just don't get it. I mean, it, it looks like it was kind of squatted in, I guess. I don't think anybody was actually, you know, really truly living here, or taking care of the place. But my goodness, it is it is not good. Okay, I think uh, for the most part, I'm sure there's going to be little things everywhere. But for the most part, I, I think we're good to go. Can we pick up this? Yep, beautiful. Got little, little pieces that kind of blend in. Let's, um, I guess let's take care of this first. I'm assuming we're going to be constructing this. Where's our... Uh, do we have a pamphlet on this? A building. Build anything, anywhere. Walls, half walls, ceilings, whatever. So first, we're going to select our building area by picking three points in the space with the left mouse button. The start, the length of the wall, and the height of the wall. Are you ready? Aim at the bottom row and hold to look at those bricks go. See a blue highlight where the next row will be. Aim at it to place the bricks faster. So we're going to go into our building mode. So we, we pick the bottom, we pick the length, and then we pick the, the height. I think I might be doing this backwards. Ah, okay. So if we do this and we go up and then, oh, we can't go all the way across because it blocks it there, but we could potentially go to here. Okay, a little bit more automated. Look at those bricks go, just like it said. And if you aim at it, it goes a little bit faster. So we can go like this. If you aim at the next green one, it, it goes quicker. Okay, cool. So we're, we're fixing the wall here. We do, do we have to use trash to pick these up? We do. So we can do that. And then if we go back to our building, we can place them like so. And the final one's here. Just go ahead and place these. If you look at the spot, it goes faster. Nice. Fixed a hole in the wall. Looks like we got something going on here as well. Definitely going to want to fix this. So let's, uh, let's go back to our building tool. Get those there. You can come up. Oop. Go across there, and then we could just place one right here. There it is. Okay. So, our little kitchen. I mean, I, I kind of want to take this wall out. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's not necessary. But I guess we can leave it. So, we've gotten rid of everything here. It wants cyan and gray paint. Okay. I'll buy this. Let's set this down. I don't know how to use this. We've got our painting brush. Okay. Can we set up our area, our finishing borders? We can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The, the painting is way different than it was before. And you can totally go over on accident. Oh, but you set your borders so it fades away. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to set this entire area here and we're just going to get to work. Oh, wow. Yeah, this this is pretty cool. This is a lot different than what painting was like, like in the last game. I like it. I, I wonder how it's going to work for like, you know, as... As you go on, are they going to give us... Going to refill this here? And then we can keep 
keep going, but is our does our does our thing reset? I think our thing reset. We need to make sure that we're not messing that up. But um, yeah, I wonder if we're if there's gonna be a way to speed it up, or if if this. I mean, it's a little tedious. It's fun, but I would imagine on like the fifteenth flip, it'd, it'd get a little tedious. Shoot, I just painted over the the wood paneling there. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I I do. We need to be very careful about setting our borders every time. When you go to refill your paintbrush, it resets it. Oh, you can change the size. Hold on. Let me refill this. Let's set our border. Beautiful. You can... How do you change... Oh my gosh! That is what I'm talking about. Okay. It's not going to be nearly as tedious now. Set up our borders. We could come across just like that. And now watch this. Oh, wow, dude. This, this is great. I love... I love that. Just doing the whole wall all in one. This is actually way more efficient than it was in the last game. And see, that time it didn't reset the borders. I'm doing something that I'm resetting the borders, and I, I, it's cost me a couple of times. So let's try to be a bit more careful, Trev. Let's make sure we get the top of the window here. Beautiful. Cancel it. Set this side of the window. Don't want to paint on the windowsill or anything. That is such a nice feature that you can't, you can't mess it up. You're guaranteed to hit the spots that you actually want to hit every time. Last little segment here on this window. Okay, so we have two walls that are, are white. I kind of want to go with the teal. They wanted the, the white and or teal look. So let's go in here. We could change our color. I'm going to do kind of like a darker teal, I feel like could be kind of nice. So we're going to set this down over here. We're going to grab our, our paintbrush again. Maximize this bad boy. That is so cool. Let me set it up with this dark teal. We're gonna set up our area, make sure we don't mess anything up, don't have any trim or anything in that, and then now we can just get to work. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that, this whole wall and just a couple of seconds. This is the wall that we uh, we had fixed up to. Is that everything? A little bit more on this side. Check the top. Beautiful. All right, there it is. Naturally gonna paint the kitchen white. That makes the most sense. Might even get some tiles in here eventually, but let's at least get a base layer and then we're gonna start getting the cabinets and appliances and things and then we're out of paint. Could we paint the ceilings in the last game? I don't think so. Dude, this, this is huge. And the fact, oh no. Did we paint over? Uh, I think it's gonna fix itself afterwards over the, the exposed wood. I do really like that wood. But the fact that we can build anything we want anywhere, we did accidentally paint over it. That's my bad. Okay, there's, there's gonna be a couple little mistakes in here, but again, it's my first job, man. You can't hold it against me, sign a contract. I'm, I'm covered. So we're gonna sink a stove top. We've got some cabinets, oven, hanging cabinets, some kitchen appliances. Maybe start with the fridge, I think. Wow, look at all the different colors and things we can choose from metals, rose golds. I think I'm gonna put the fridge in this corner off to the left, beautiful. Now we can look at uh, maybe a countertop next to it. I'm thinking, oh wow. There are 24 different types of handles. There's also different types of countertops. I like the white with the cream handles maybe Black or even white, maybe like a silver, light silver, gray. I think I'm just gonna stick with their default ones for now. We'll, we'll see, I'm gonna place two of these. So we want two of those. Let me get back in the kitchen so we can see. We want two of these, we want one dishwasher. See all these are, it, it's a matching set. So we're just gonna go with that. One oven, anything that stands on the ground, that that's a wrap on that. Okay, where are these gonna fit in is the question. Cause there's kind of an awkward, an awkward angle, awkward corner here. Maybe put this back in that corner, put this back, back up on there. And then we're going to be able to maybe put this over here. I love the grid option. See, I, I don't know how these are going to fit in to actually make sense. Dishwasher next to the fridge is interesting. I guess oven next to the fridge would make more sense. I don't know where our sink is gonna fit in. I mean, really, we would want the sink in front of the window, but we can't because the thing is there. Yeah, uh, I we, we might, hold on. Just playing musical chair. Ah, this might be it. Hold on a second. Dishwasher next to the sink. I feel like this, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe reverse though. Let's put the sink more in the middle and the dishwasher over on the left or maybe the cabinet over on the left. I feel like that's good. Look at that. Beautiful looking kitchen. I'm gonna put a stove top on here. I'm imagining this is gonna go over here. So let's get this nice and centered up. 
just like so. We're gonna put a microwave probably next to the stove. Got a drying rack we could put over here above the dishwasher. Of course, that makes the most sense. We've got, uh, I mean, kind of a, a bit running out of space. I love how many angles you can put things at, dude. You, The accessory game is going to be on point here. Obviously, this is the first one. We don't want to, you know, take too much time. Can I put a toaster on top of the microwave? Right, microwave? Yes, you can. Beautiful. All, all the ways to heat up your food over here and ways to clean your dishes over here. This is kind of a hanging display cabinet. I'm going to put this above the fridge for now. We've got a lot of hanging things. We've got two of these. Actually, uh, maybe across here. And we can actually get these very, very close to the middle now that we have this grid you'd be guessing in the last game this small one definitely goes above the fridge so maybe we move that one out there we've also got this dude there's so many cabinets what do you want me to do with all these cabinets there's not enough space I guess these are kind of up top out of sight out of mind a little bit let me get these centered i really don't i, I don't understand where i'm supposed to put all there's a, another cabinet Okay, I'm just going to center these on this wall. We're going to call it a day. Our, our toast might pop up into the bottom of our cabinet, but that's that's fine. Okay, there's our kitchen. All the storage in the world. It actually looks a lot better. I, we do need some tile. Oh, it's already got it for us. It wants marble. So we're going to... How do I how do I tile? Do we have to... We probably got to got to do this first, right? Let me set up our, our spaces. We probably should have done this before we put the furniture in. You know, there's kind of a... a way of doing things here it's like the pin daws of home improvement but we didn't we didn't pay attention to that so hey the world's shadiest car salesman and contractor here on the job we're just gonna it's gonna look good it's not gonna be done well but it's gonna look good ish kind of all right so that's all Ooh, we have legs i didn't know look at our belt dude we look like a, a lumberjack okay so we've we've got that now we need to be in the kitchen to be able to select this let's buy this marble and we're going to be able to place this down. See, it, it goes one one row deep underneath the, the appliances. It, if you ever move your appliances or change things out, you're going to be very disappointed. But that's fine because I'm going to be long gone. You'll never hear from me again. Beautiful. Kitchen. Just about... Oh, is this... Was this supposed to be for the walls? I kind of like the floor. That's a pretty cool floor for the kitchen. All right, we're, we're just... We're, it's, we're leaving it up to in interpretation here. Going to be replacing the wood out here in the living room. It's the same wood that we have everywhere else, but we just got to fix these spots where it's been damaged. So we're going to want to get into our uh, our surface finishes tool again and make sure that we're getting the right spots. The act of placing these panels down is so satisfying how they just create all these little Tetris pieces. So, bam, our floor out here in the living room is just about done. For whatever reason, this glass, it keeps reappearing. I keep vacuuming it. It's, you know, early access demo, that kind of thing. So I don't think there's a whole lot we can do about that. But maybe I'm not getting all of it. Like, if you don't get all of it, it, it expands back again. I don't know. I, I've, I've been getting it, and it's just not going anywhere. Get the back side of this wall that we replaced here. And I think, oop, oop. Oh, we're good. Okay, I thought it got on the trim there. I think we're good. I mean, we could probably paint this too. Let's just be careful. Make sure we get our right spot. That is such a nice feature. Be able to make sure you don't overdo your painting. Gotta, gotta put down your painter's tape, your frog tape beforehand. We're starting to get the hang of it. Go down this wall here. Beautiful. All right. This whole room is pretty much set up. I think we could start thinking about adding some furniture. We've got radiator bits and bobs. Buy this. Maybe put this under one of the windows. Kind of out of the way. We got that. We've got a, oh, another one. Uh, we could put this one over here, maybe. Buying a couch. Going to put that up against the wall. Kind of hide the radiator a bit. Just like so. We've got a table, chairs, rug. Oh, you can hang shelves on the wall. All right, that's nice. I'm going to put that about right there. We could put a TV on it like so. We've got little bookcases we could put maybe over here. I'm just kind of placing everything down and we'll find spots for it afterwards. Table over in the corner, kind of a little breakfast table type thing with looks like three seats around it. Three is going to be slightly hard to fit, but we'll make it work. Find a perfect spot there. All right, not bad. We've got another TV. Ca oh, this one's a lot bigger. Okay, lamp over here in the corner. Maybe a little side table next to that. Can we turn the lamps on? 
I don't know how to... I, I've seen light switches. There's definitely... If we move this, I think there's a light switch over here. I don't know how to work the electricity, but we've got light switches. Gonna put this... Gonna put this in the wall over here. We can... We're a little tough on space in here. I'm gonna sell our paint. If you put something on a TV hutch and then move the hutch, it moves everything. Oh my goodness, dude. They have literally thought of everything in this game. All right, I don't know where we're gonna put these bookshelves. I guess something like that and like that. Not bad. We These... these beginner guides we can't get rid of so i'm just gonna randomly stack these throughout dude this game they've really done a good job with it get this off our tv shelf put this over there like that all right our living room is pretty much complete i love that things stack dude i can pick all these up and just keep keep stacking keep getting rid of them okay we've got our food there's gotta use my cleaning a little bit here some dirt in here so we've got this we've got this bathroom back here we've got our laundry room and then we've got our our upstairs left to go just stacking all of our i i, I don't want these i don't want them give, give me all the books that we've seen all over the place i don't want them get rid of them can i put them in the trash i can't put them in the trash <sighs> the time is changing look at this it's gonna be night time we have like a a, a clock this is completely changed we've been working all day sweating our our butts off you know, fixing all this stuff and collecting books all over the place and it's it's gotten away from us. Good morning and welcome back to House Flipper 2. Look at this sun rising up over the ocean, the stars fading into the day. Dude, this game is beautiful. Look at all the shadows and everything. I was sitting in here. Look at this. You can see the, the, the shadows of the windows, the sun coming through the windows on the radiator here. Let's finish up the downstairs first. We have not touched this bathroom yet, obviously. We are gonna want to get rid of everything in this room. What are we doing in here? We're gonna have a toilet. Ooh, a floating baleno toilet. We've got a bidet. We've got a cabinet. And we've got a radiator. Radiator, I'm thinking we could put this maybe next to the sink or are we not putting a shower in here i'm gonna put the radiator here for now we might end up changing that we'll see what happens we also want to paint this thing a vibrant blue i'm gonna go with something something really funky since this is a beach house after all so we're gonna go into our painting tool are we just gonna do i mean 111 squares are we gonna do everything in here or what do we how do we want to do it i'm gonna start off with this let's go to our big painting tool Let's get to work. So our 111 squares are not going down. Does it want us to paint the ceiling blue? <laughs> did, we, did we jump the gun a little bit here? It's it's going to be fun. I think a blue bathroom can be kind of fun. I think maybe it wants us to do the ceiling. Let's, let's try the ceiling here. That didn't do it. I'm not sure what walls it wants us to paint blue, but honestly, I kind of feel like I like it. I mean, you've got the blue ocean out there. It's not that blue yet because the sun's not up in the sky, but I, I like it. I'm going to go all four walls with blue. Duck cabinet we're going to put over there, and then we've got a, uh, a bidet and a toilet. So interesting. This is going to be just a half bath. It, it had a shower in it before. Oop, I don't want double bidet. We want the toilet. Had a shower before, but now it's just going to be a, a very nice little half bath. I mean, it's it's still pretty cool. If we... I don't... Do we have access to the straight up store? Can we can we go buy whatever we want? We can't... Oh my gosh, dude. This this is... It, it's great. I love it. I'm looking for flower. Not all purpose flower. I'm looking for like a, a plant. You know what I mean? Like a, a decorational plant. I mean, we could... I'm going to put a banana in the bathroom right there. Beautiful. I just... I don't know what you're going to be doing with that. I don't want to know. Let me just shut the door on that and we're, we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. What's going on in here? We need to see our quests. So we've got... We want to... We've sold all this stuff already. That's all it wants us to do. I could at least get this lined up. Bring it off the wall a little bit. So we've got a washing machine. No dryer. This is also where our fuse box is. Does that... I think that actually shuts off all the lights. Interesting. That's... The fact that that can be used is pretty cool. I'm going to go into paint here i'm gonna say let's get kind of a fun cyan and gray vibrance we can buy this and let's let's just you know paint our laundry room we don't if we're gonna spend a lot of time in here we don't want it to be boring oh it's it's white well at least it's gonna be painted it's not just exposed brick to be honest the exposed brick may have been even a little bit cooler but that's okay we want to we want to feel like we're in a finished part of the house here, not like we're in some sort of a dungeon or a basement. I love the effect of when you like, you get close, look at the, the door hinge here. If I paint a little too close to some of the edges on the trim, it'll get like little pieces on there, but then it fades away. Get all this, beautiful. Open that door up and we are good to go. That has been fixed up. Lot nicer in here for sure. 
So living room is, is looking pretty good. Kitchen is looking pretty good. We've got the downstairs bathroom complete with the blue. It's actually a really fun color of blue. We've got our laundry room here. I mean, we could do the same wood tile as in here. Keep that continuous throughout the house. We're gonna have to set it up with the, uh, the what's it called though first. Surface finishes. Get the floor in here, beautiful. And then we can, like I said, we can come back out here. Let's grab this same wood so it Feels like a comprehensive piece of the house. Keeps flowing. Don't worry, I saw it. We gotta get this part back here. All right, so I think that's a uh, that's a wrap on the downstairs. I'm feeling good about, oh, actually just kidding. We've got this room in here. I'm gonna say, let's go. Can we get a fun color in here, please? I'm gonna go with a, uh, I mean, maybe something like this. Let's vibe this up a little bit in here. So we're gonna make sure that we don't mess this up now. I'm gonna come up. We can go across just like that. We're all good to go. I want to make sure we aren't getting, I need to decrease this, aren't getting paint anywhere it's not supposed to be. And we can increase it now that we're up here. Oh, the painting is the most fun and satisfying part of this game. Down this side and that wall is done. Get this wall here. Just what a fun, you know, vibrant blue color. This is a beach house after all. We don't have to take it too seriously. I mean, we could have had some fun wallpaper or whatever else, but the painting is, is just too satisfying. We need some sort of like a, I mean, I guess we're going to have wall stuff here. Yeah, beautiful. We've got a clock we can put up here. We've got a bench that we're probably going to put down here. You could put your shoes and stuff in that. We've got a little rug. We can put kind of diagonal right in the middle here. You can buy the plant bases separate from the actual plants themselves. So there's our, our little little base and then we can get this ficus and put it in there. I love that, dude. Let me move this over, center it a little bit better. We've got uh, a mirror here. I mean, we're probably gonna want the mirror, probably gonna want the mirror on this wall. So we're gonna move this clock up here and then we can grab this giant mirror with the hanging hooks and everything. Center that with the wall, maybe a little high love it much more inviting front door space let's go ahead and get rid of this but look at this walking in your front door you got this blue you got that blue you've got this blue you've got the blue out there of the water this is a very very clean setup so far upstairs we've got this wall we need to fix this up so we're gonna get our little oop, get our little building tool out building tool is, is interesting to use to say the least oop. It's crazy that we can, I mean, we, we could build anything we want. We could put a wall anywhere we want. In the last game, you kind of had to, you know, it gave you certain spaces where it liked walls or didn't like walls. You could put little half walls up and stuff. But in this game, we could literally build a wall like this across the room for no reason if we wanted to. Wants us to keep this same blue. So I'm, I'm going to do this on at least two of the walls. And then we're also going to do white. I'm gonna go with, the, we've got the white and now we've got the blue. We're gonna get our paint out and let's get to work. Guys, don't kill me. I, I painted on the, the trim again. I hate that I do. I, I get a little excited and I just wanna keep going and then I, I forget to do our little, our special thing where it keeps you from doing that. I, I, you need to set your boundaries every single time, Trev. Stop, stop trying to cut corners. I'm gonna get the little mini one to get the little triangle up there, beautiful. Let's just make sure we, ooh, see, you would've messed that up. Let's make sure we always do that. Get the big one. It takes like an extra two seconds to make sure you don't mess it up and then you don't have to worry about it. It's nice. Oh, you can paint diagonally, there it is. Just gonna do this last wall here. Got all that, beautiful. And it looks like we've got one more piece of blue up here. Gonna want our smaller thing. Let's see, can we be precise? Nicely done, all right. We've got the wood ceiling. I like that. White everywhere else. Probably get rid of these. Let's just go full white with the walls. I don't. I mean, the wallpaper's okay. I don't love it. This is a demo, so like, you know, if, if it was the full game, if this was our career, if we were trying to, you know, make money and get paid and get the highest grades and things like that, I would probably put a little bit more time into the wallpaper choices and things, but we're just trying to get this thing presentable to be able to, to get a grade. We're just... Just try to get the job done as quickly and efficiently as possible. I mean, I, I kind of like it on this wall, honestly. It, it It's the blue that matches with the ocean. It almost looks like a compass rose, which I feel like is very appropriate for this sort of a view. So we'll, we'll leave that there. This bathroom honestly doesn't look terrible either. I think this is going to be... Oh, I hate that I did that. I'm sorry. Uh, this is going to be a bedroom here. And then I think, you know, bathroom 
closet type thing over here. Let's start in the bathroom. What do we have going on? We've got a rug. So let's buy this. We're going to put this down. You guys know I like them kind of a little crooked. We've got a toilet. Oh, this is a weird, maybe like here. Looks like we got a little, little spot where we're going to want to clean up a little bit too. Make sure you get that sprayed up. We've got uh, a radiator. We could put that underneath there. I'm going to just put it maybe in this corner so it's nice and out of the way. We've got a toilet brush. We could put that down here. Got to make sure people can unclog whatever problem they've created. And then we've got this guy, which does not really fit. This is going to have to go against that back wall, isn't it? Will it go against the back wall? I think it will, but we're going to have to move the toilet. The it can't go there. I mean, technically it could. It's not supposed to, though. Let me move this toilet plunger. I'm going to move our radiator. We're, we're going to... I just want to get it up out of the way. We could just put it up there. Now, we should be able to get this. Oh, that, it just really doesn't... It doesn't want to... Oh, I was too high. Let's get that pushed all the way back as far as possible. And I guess our toilet... I mean, we're going to have a nice view. Let's get this nice and centered. Don't want it up too high, but look at that. Let me, let me just crouch down and take in all I've been working for. And then this guy can go right here. Beautiful. All right. Bathroom's done. We've got a uh, cabinet, a mirror, and a laundry basket to go in here. Cabinet. I mean, it makes the most sense maybe against this wall. Some interesting choices of, of furniture and things. I'm going to put a laundry basket here, and then we could put our mirror maybe in the corner like so. It's not going to fit because the wall. That doesn't make sense there either. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe the, the laundry basket over here, since it's the only thing that's going to fit with the way this wall works coming down like that. And then the mirror can go over here. I just don't want to take away from the window, but there's not really a lot of places that we could put it. And here, this is going to be our, uh, our big master bedroom. Let's see. I'm going to go with a slightly different color way. Ooh. I love that they have the, the different options like you could completely customize it if you want or you can go with the, the different styles here definitely going to go with this blue and yellow so let's get this thing set up and centered with these windows oh my goodness imagine waking up and looking out and seeing that water every day that would be incredible we've got a lot of items in here i'm just going to start placing things where they make sense clock up here We've got a little a little dresser thing. Might be able to place this over. I mean, that's going to be a tight fit. It actually it might might make more sense over here. We've got the same furniture set too. Look at that, and then look at this. Love it, man. There's so many new options that we're seeing. This is this is great. All right, we're gonna put this here. I will say, in the last game, I, it felt like we started using all the same stuff over and over and over and over again, and it, it seems like we have a lot more things to choose from going forward when you're ready we can you know do our thing but i'm not ready yet we're gonna finish this out desk over i wish we had a window can can you buy a window how do you put in windows oh my gosh you could put windows wherever you want is this openable oh my dude this is sick it kind of opens the wrong direction but it's it's fun dude this game this is gonna be good Look at that. We chose the perfect size, too. Let me get this centered up. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All right. We've got our, our Koivu chair. This is going to look nice. Kind of tilted a little bit. Oh, this is the window they wanted us to use. Um, um, panic. Um, 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 uh, you can see to the, the stairs. <laughs> I like this window better. This looks like a, a big picture window all right so we're gonna put that looks really hideous now let me you know what we can fix this problem don't trust t martin contracting incorporated it's gonna be a little bit weird coming up the stairs and seeing the back of a dresser but it's fine hey if the money's there we don't care we're getting it done the, the you know project goals have been met i don't know where to put this maybe over in that corner let's move this we've got a little I mean, I, I, I just, I wouldn't have this chair here if it were me, but it's, it's not me. So I can't wait to just do, do some, you know, free play. You know what I mean? Just get, get done whatever we want to get done. We've got our little side tables here. Of course, these are going to go right next to the bed. Got a cool poster. We could put this here. Oh my goodness, dude. This is so sick. Little hanging wall plant thing happening. 
Set, uh, I actually kind of might like this next to the desk. And then we can get some, some little plants. Oh, dude. The fact that you can choose different plants for each pot is really, really cool. Let me get this centered. That might be my favorite part of this game. Like, I, I'm, I'm all one for the details. And the fact that you can put any order, any color, any type that you want, anywhere you want, is really, really cool. You can stack things. So, like, we could put our rug under this. I actually, I don't know if I like it under the desk. Maybe more like under this. You couldn't really stack things as well before. I'm going to put a vase here. We're going to put a fern. Just kidding. We can't put a fern. Oh, this, this is where we put the fern. We could put this here with the giant monstera in it. Desk lamp. We've got these guys. I mean, I could, I could put that there and, and maybe, maybe we do one more. We've got our little uh, duplication tool. If we go in here, we can select duplicate. And put it there so we can have that nice and evened out. We've got a little... I really don't know what's going on with this this thing. This, there's no space for this, but we're just going to keep it in here. Got a little MacBook action. Beautiful. Change the color of the mouse. So I'm going to go black. A little bit more boring, but a bit more traditional. So we got that set up. Have another light. We could put a light over in this corner. Just kidding. The ceilings in this place are really unfortunate. I, I can't put it anywhere I want to put it. It's always in the... I'm just... Okay, bam. A closet for the light, my lord. Oh, uh, we, we want more of these? I, I don't... I'm not going to put those. That It just... It looks... It looks silly. You know what? I'm actually going to... I'm going to get rid of the other one, too. Go back to our cell mode. Bam. Get rid of that. I love how the wall fills in. We don't have to fix it. Dude, this is looking incredible. We do have this space out here that we need to fix. We've got painted wood, so what we're going to want to do is get our surface finishes. Let's set it up so that we don't mess anything up, and now we can just freely put down our putty. Oh, I think there's wood out here that we need to we need to sell. Now we can sell this. That's that last piece of wood it wanted us to get rid of, so we've got that, and now we're going to be able to buy this, and we can place this down to fix our deck. Looks like we, ha we might have some more issues out here as well, so we're going to putty all this up. I don't know if we're going to be able to find this blue wood, but we're going to do our best. I don't see the blue wood provided to us, but if we go into the store, we might be able to find it. So let's go to uh, building surface finishes panels. We're looking for like a, it's like a distressed painted wood. I don't know where we're going to find the blue. I don't see. It's definitely going to be in panel panels. Painted wood. I mean, this. It's it's. We're gonna have to pretend like that's okay. I I don't know where to find the blue, but I mean, from the inside, it looks great, dude. This place is is absolutely sick. I love it. So the the downstairs is done, the upstairs is done. I see a piece of paint. We gotta gotta get rid of. You know, it might not be the best, most professional job, but I'm gonna make sure I clean up after myself. Let me get another one of these books. I'm so sick of seeing these books. And I think it might be time to go check out what's going on back here. We've got this like bunker thing here at the, the front of the house. So let's go for it. Let's get rid of this. Oh man, we've got a handprint and this is, can I open it? Oh my gosh, we had to delete the wood and we're gonna keep going down here. I was gonna say, is this just an Easter egg? What is going on? I gotta be honest, I'm feeling kind of stupid because I don't get the reference, but it, I, it's it's cool. I, I an O O face on the wall. I, there's some sort of a health potion double attack. I, I'm blanking on it. So I I kind of feel dumb for even coming down here in the first place. But I I guess that's okay. You know you, you really you can't you can't win them all. Also I just noticed. Look at this. This is what we came in on on Pinnacle. Oh that was I think that was a poster we put in there or something. We've got a, a piece of luggage and we came in on a raft with a little rubber ducky. Dude, this this is sick. They they really did a good job here. So we're going to go ahead and let's finish this up. Flip that house. We got a two star because we didn't do everything they wanted us to do with like the windows and things like that. That's it. Thank you for playing House Flipper 2 demo. We hope you enjoy the experience. So that, my friends, is House Flipper 2. I don't know what's going on with the hot dogs and all the loading screens here, but it's it's a major theme. Maybe we should have thrown one in there. We might have gotten a three star, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look at some of these places we're going to end up going to in this game. 
it's going to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you guys when the full thing comes out or if we get any sort of a, an alpha or anything like that, I'll let you guys know. But uh, great demo. Very familiar. Also a lot of improvements. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.